tutorial on how to import a humanoid from DAS to Unity. So let's start with a figure, uh, Genesis 3 female. Everybody has that. Now um, let's add some clothes and hair. And that's it. That, that, that's all we need. Uh, we can actually change the pose or something but we don't really need to so let's file export be sure to use Autodesk FBX I will overwrite this one let's name it female FBX and save this will open up a dialog with options we only want to export figures we don't want to export cameras morphs or anything like that um, so let's start let's make it a FBX 2014 binary let's embed the textures the merge diffuse and opacity textures will convert the textures to um, uh, T files with transparency which is better handled by unity so anyway we will need to to fix that later let's accept and start exporting we'll need to fix some textures later on so that's pretty much everything we need from DAS. Let's go to Unity and let's import our FBX. Here it is, female FBX. Import. And now for the model, we don't want to import cameras, we don't need to import lights. Uh, let's optimize mesh. Let's not generate colliders for now. And import visibility, yes. And that's pretty much it for the texturing. Import the normals. Calculate tangent space, everything is fine with the defaults. On the rigging, it's a humanoid. Be sure to select the humanoid. And under animations, we don't have animations. So let's apply this. And that's all we need here. Let's put our import, the female character, into the scene. Let's move it to 0, 0, 0. Let's put a plane here. Um, okay, so pretty much that's all we need here. Now let's create a animation controller. Let's name it a female control. Now if we play if we press the play button here, nothing happens because we don't have an animation yet. We don't have animations indeed, so let's import some animations and let's import a package characters from Unity's all we need here is the humanoid um, animations and those are in under characters not under the first character not under rollerball but under third person character animations that's what we need so let's import that <coughs> Sorry. Now, let's select our female character and on the controller, let's select the female control that we just created. Let's double click it and just to test it, let's create a state, an empty state here. And on this state, let's select a motion from the recently imported motions. Here we have all the humanoid motions. So let's test it with a walk. Now if we hit play, wonderful, our character is walking. Oh, wait a second, the plane is tied to the character. Okay, that's it. Now let's select another state. Let's say um, humanoid uh, jump up. And there it is jumps and goes flying away 
Um, I want to show you the walk left. Our character will start moving in circles to the left. Now we need something more useful and more controllable. So instead of a new state, let's create a blend tree. Blends rely on parameters. So let's create a parameter, a float parameter, which will be speed and another float parameter which will be direction. Here under double click the blend tree and let's select the blend type will be uh, 2D freeform Cartesian or Cartesian or whatever you however you say that. The first parameter will be direction and the second parameter will be the speed. Both are in zero right now. So the list of motions add a motion field. The first motion will be idling, humanoid idle. It will be doing nothing at position zero, direction zero, speed zero will be idling at a speed of one. So let's try that. Play and our character idles. Now let's add a motion here, at motion field and let's select walk. Walk. Now the position for this, the direction will be zero and the position will be one. So when 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 you move the the direction to one, it will blend to the animation of walking. Now let's create another one. Let's make the character walk backwards. Add motion field. When it walk the position direction zero position minus one it will animate the walking but backwards so here we have our blend tree and here we have our controller so let's script this because we want to tie it to something so let's here under the female character let's add a script And let's name it uh, female behavior. Create an ad. So now let's work with our script. On let's create, let's access the animator. So let's create um, private animator. And let's call it a name. On a start, we will instance it or, or get the object. So let's say that anim equals to get get component of the class animator. And now let's tie it to something. Um, so we will set the parameter of speed so set uh, float speed and we will need a number and that will be the ideal will be an input so input an axis so let's get the axis let's get the vertical axis Let's save our script. Let's go back to Unity. R click on play. And you see our character is idling there. If we click the up arrow, whoa, it starts walking. And it starts walking backwards. That's because the, the um, axis is moving from 0 to 1 and 0 to minus 1 when you click back. So that's what moves the character because we're changing the speed as you can see it in this area here here the speed is changing with the axis check it out now let's move the direction as you can guess that's pretty much the same way you do that the same way on the blend tree let's add here, let's add a motion field, 
Well, let's select the walk. Right. So, here, when when the character, when the axis moves to the to the position one on on zero speed, we will walk right. Let's add another one to walk left. Add motion field. And when the character is at minus one, zero, it will walk left. Those are based on direction, as you can see here on the axis. The x axis is direction. So let's go back to our script. And we will be pretty much doing the same. But for the horizontal axis. Horizontal, let's save. Let's go back to Unity. And when I click to the right, it walks right. Click to the left, and it walks left. And if I click forward, it walks forward. Now, we can do some other stuff with some other um, inputs, but this is pretty much how you import a humanoid and animate it on Unity coming from DAS. Thank you very much. I will be making more um, tutorials. Let me know if something is wrong with this one, um, if you liked something or if you didn't like something, and, and, and let me know what, what, what you think about these tutorials. Bye. Thank you.